and in this in this time of the economics being as tight as they are that's definitely actually a smart decision to spend a little bit more money on the rig make sure that all your shots are done right you save money in, in having to reshoot you save money in post production yeah, although that's an education process for clients because they look at our equipment, then they look at somebody else's equipment that might be less than half the price, and they go, well, that shoots 3D. I've seen some really good images from it. And I go, yes, but how long did they spend on post to make those images good? How long did they spend to line that up? You know, on an average feature, if you shoot, you know, on an, on an average feature, you could go, say you go buy an equipment package for, let's just throw round numbers at it. These aren't real numbers. Say you right. go buy one for $100,000 and one for $200,000. You go, why would I spend $100,000 extra? Uh, well, now getting towards real numbers, because to fix everything in post-production costs you millions of dollars more yeah. and, and time. And, you know, the, it can be worked out on paper every time that the cost savings are there. You spend more at the front end. But that's like shooting a movie on a consumer camera saying, well, it's a cheaper camera. I'm going, yes, it is a camera, and yes, it's cheaper, but then you're going to go through sharpening phase, color phase. You're going to do all kinds of work on it and barely get an acceptable image, and you're going to spend more than 10 of those cameras to do that work. So Absolutely. it works out. Well, not only that, but you guys, again, you're putting your money where your mouth is. You guys are very heavily involved in training as well now. You're offering training classes at Reality and a certification. Talk a little bit about that. Okay. You know, at this point, I'm really concerned about the business. I'm concerned because there's no doubt it's a lasting business, but I'm concerned about the quality of the work that's coming out from everybody in it. And with every business, when something looks like it's a new fad, a lot of people jump in, they don't have the knowledge or the concern to make sure it's quality work. And I think it's only quality work that'll sustain the business in this early, in these early days. So, I'd like to offer the training to take advantage of everything we've learned over the years so that at least there's a better shot at getting quality products out there. I see simple mistakes in so many projects that with a little bit of training could have been completely avoided. And you know, why should everybody make the same mistakes over and over and over again? We've already made all those mistakes. You know, learn from us right. and learn from those mistakes right. so you don't go out and spend your own money doing it. We've already done that. Two is if we're starting to sell our rigs and, we're de and even more importantly, we're selling the image processors, the ones that tell you whether you're lined up to within a tenth of a pixel, the one that tell you whether your color matches off by this much so you can tweak it a little better, much, much more accurate than popping the AB button back and forth to look at you know, left camera, right camera on a monitor. Right. Right. So we're, we're starting to offer this to the market. but. You could use it or you could abuse it. And if you aren't trained in the proper use of this gear, it's not going to help you make a better picture. And you might actually make a worse picture because, because there's more buttons to push than there are on something that you turn a knob and the camera moves. So we're offering training and certification to go with that. In fact, to take the equipment we put into the market out, you're gonna it's going to require that you're certified. But that's no different than so many other projects. If you're setting up a Microsoft system in your office, you need a Microsoft certified person to come do it. Yes, you could do it on your own, but you end up calling the certified person anyway, at least for businesses of size and scale. Sure, sure. Another feature that you guys have just gotten into, I just heard about this from you just a little bit ago, is you're getting into a new type of screen. Let's talk a little bit about that. Yeah, it's not a product yet, but it's close to being a product. We've worked with a LED manufacturer who makes giant LED screens um, into making a 3D LED screen. Um, you know, certainly the market needs a large display and you can only go up to a certain size in projection. And yet if we wanted to start simulcasting certain events, the idea of filling a stadium with a screen or using a stadium screen gets to be very interesting. And so we're looking for a high quality way to make an LED display into a quality 3D display. And so we've come up with a way to do this. Uh, we've set them up, as you know, LED displays can be made any size. You can make the size of this building. And interestingly enough, it looked so good. These displays are so bright, we had to turn the brightness down by half because it was overly bright in a dark room. Now, in the daylight, we'd have left it up all the way. But they're incredibly bright when you stand back of them, so you stop seeing the LED. If you stick your nose on a TV, you're going to see the pixels. Sure. If you step back, you see a beautiful picture. And it's the same with the LED screen. The spacing is different. If you step back, it's a beautiful picture, and you get back to a certain point, and it's a high-resolution video image. And it works in stereo. It's not, um, it's not auto stereo. You will need glasses. because. Sure. 
certainly with lenticular displays, there's no way to make it work for everybody sitting in the stands. You know, there's going to be good seats and bad seats. And so you will need passive glasses, but it works beautifully Wonderful. with a live image. Well, there you go. Uh, a whole bunch of things going on from Threality and just what you would expect. Steve, thank you so much for taking the time. You're welcome, man. Thank you.